Uh, hello all, uh, welcome to the new video. In this video, we will see how tunnel diode works. So, tunnel diode was discovered by Leo Isaki. He also received the Nobel Prize in the year 1973 for the discovery of electron tunneling. So, a diode is nothing but a simple PN junction. So, let me draw PN junction. However, in case of tunnel diodes, the impurities are in large number. So it is not just a mere PN junction, we can see it as P plus N plus junction. Okay, as you all know, this will work as a normal diode. Okay. That is there will be a diffusion initially until there is a junction the voltage developed which will prevent the further diffusion. So uh, that's how one we analyze normal diode, same with the case of tunnel diode. However, uh, what makes it as a special case of diodes is the IV characteristics. So we will uh, soon see uh, the IV characteristics of tunnel diode and how it depends, uh, how it will be like a different type of special type of diode. So we will see that all in the video. So coming to the tunnel diode, you should know the following two characteristics of the tunnel diode. The impurities will be very large in case of tunnel diode and also you know that uh, whenever the PN junction is forward biased, the junction width decreases. So that's, uh, that's how a normal PN junction works, same with the case of tunnel diode. But one interesting feature of tunnel diode is the junction width will be extremely small. Let's say this has W. So this width W is in the range of 50 to 150 angstroms. So one angstrom is 10 raised to minus 10 meter. So this width and uh, due to large impurities. Uh, the IV characteristics differs from the normal PN junction diode up to certain voltage. So, we will see now the IV characteristics of tunnel diode and also we will see the analogy uh, to understand the tunnel diode better. Uh, let's see the IV characteristics of tunnel diode. Uh, as I said earlier, tunnel diode is nothing but a special case of PN junction. So let me draw the PN junction. It is the, uh, the impurities are very large in numbers, hence I used P plus in, instead of just PN, P plus and N plus. And as I said, the junction diode will be, and the junction will be extremely narrow. As you can see, uh, as I increase the voltage, there is a certain pattern of current. First increases, the current increases, and then decreases, and then current will increase. So, this plot is obtained by applying voltage V and gradually increasing it. As you can see, as we increase voltage, just in the range of millivolts, we just point to uh, 10 millivolts. Okay. So, as we increase the voltage, the current will start to rise. It will reach, reach up to the maximum current called as IP. So, Till you apply U1, the current will increase. For uh, V is equal to U1, the current will be IP. So, if you apply voltage greater than U1, if V is greater than U1, the current will again decrease. And it will reach uh, up to, uh, say, IV. So, these are the terms used in tunnel diode. Uh, up to certain voltage U1, the current will start to increase and it will reach the maximum that is called peak current and if you increase voltage greater than u1 the current will fall so it will fall and it will reach some minimum value called valley current so if you say at u2 if uh, applied voltage is u2 this is the minimum current reached in the tunnel diode that is called valley current so if v is greater than u2 it will follow I mean current will start to increase. So that is how the characteristics looks like. So 
this as you can see after u2 that characteristics resembles that of normal pn junction so in case of normal pn junction we all know uh, there will be some uh, certain barrier voltage say 0.7 volts or something so if you increase if you apply voltage greater than the barrier voltage the current will start to increase uh, before that there will be some negligible current carried by minority carriers in the diode so that is how pn junction works this is normal diode so as you can see the tunnel diode exhibits its special characteristics plus it also exhibits normal diode characteristics after u2 so we need to understand uh, why it exhibits this type of special characteristics so in order to understand that we need to understand what is some known as electron tunneling and also we need to understand uh, the physics behind uh, the tunnel diode so we will see now with the help of uh, energy bands so before understanding uh, what goes inside the tunnel diode we need to understand the band diagram of tunnel diode that is it is not a normal diode is pn junction however tunnel diode is p plus n plus junction because large number of impurities okay so whenever a semiconductor is doped with large number of impurities it will no longer act as a semiconductor it will become degenerate semiconductor so degenerate semiconductor a degenerate semiconductor means it lacks more like a metal more like a metal so there is something called as p type p plus type uh, and this is n plus type so when uh, we sandwich this to p plus type and n plus type we we'll get tunnel diode so in case of a uh, band diagram that is uh, it will depict the different energy levels there is something called as conduction band and there is something called as balance band so same goes with the n plus type this is the conduction band and this is the balance band so what happens when we join these two types this conduction band will touch here this is the balance band so as we all know for p type the fermi level will lie close to balance band since it is p plus type and the semiconductor is no longer as a, our semiconductor it became more like a metal the fermi level will go deep into the balance band this is the fermi level of p plus type let's say it has tfp so let me tell you this is band diagram of tunnel diode under zero bias that is no external voltage is applied then this is how my band diagram looks like so in case of uh, n plus type the fermi level will no longer lie near the conduction band but it will lie deep into the conduction band okay so our my fermi level lies here so let me call this fermi level as efn so for tunnel diode under zero bias efp is equal to efn okay so these are the electrons however note that there is no current flowing under this case okay there will be small uh, current but there will be a negligible so this is my point in the graph here i am here now under zero bias that is how my band diagram looks like so this is the band diagram in the right side as you can see so as voltage increases the band diagram of n side it will shift upwards okay so this is the band diagram it will shift upwards so it was here right uh, let me draw it this will shift upwards 
the ages of somewhere here but still there is overlap okay so what happens in case of tunnel diode is see usually what are how any diode works there is something called barrier potential this is the barrier potential electrons lie here if uh, our applied voltage is greater than the barrier voltage it will cross here and then it will conduct so that's how normal diode works but in case of tunnel diode what happens you will see the path here so we can see there are a lot of holes here so these electrons over here they see a way to go to this level to occupy these spaces so since the junction width is very neck small in case of uh, uh, in the range of 50 to 150 angstroms these electrons will not follow this path i mean they don't have enough voltage to follow that path what they do they follow this path this is nothing but called as, called as electron tunneling electron tunneling so i have uh, made so we saw that uh, for electron tunneling to occur the balance band of p type and conduction band of n type should overlap so as you can see in the figure a uh, both are overlapping under zero bias however there will be negligible current uh, but if we apply little voltage little external bias what happens the band of n type will move upwards as you can see in the diagram figure b so even if uh, the band of n type uh, raises moves upwards we can see that there is still overlap between conduction band of n type and valence band of p type so there will be just negligible energy difference between these two bands so as we all know electron likes to go to the uh, it can see it will see the holes like it will see the gaps in the valence band so it will jump to the valence band with very less energy so this phenomenon is called as electron tunneling as you can see here uh, figure a and this diagram will point to this zero holes so under zero volt the current will be less so as we start to increase the voltage electron tunneling will occur so the current will increase up to the maximum peak current ip so this maximum ip is reached up to the certain voltage u1 so if we apply external bias voltage v so t 0 to 2 u1 the current increases after that if we apply greater than u1 the current will start to decrease so i have uh, will see the analogy how this uh, handling occurs with the help of this example okay as you can see a man is carrying a luggage and he is standing on the elevator so he can go two ways okay with the help of as voltage increases this elevator will go upwards okay this elevator will move upwards now what we have done under zero voltage no current will flow okay we can think of that as uh, the elevator may, may be just below this tunnel so we think that what voltage is equal to zero volt so with if you apply little voltage what happens this elevator has moved up initially it was here okay under zero volt with zero volt the elevator was here if we apply little voltage the elevator moved up so the man will see this there are two ways okay there is a tunnel here that's simple he need not apply any more energy he can just walk through the tunnel and reach his destination that is the electrons can in the in our tunnel diode what, what happens we will see the tunnel here and uh, and it sees that it doesn't require any more energy so it will prefer this path and so the current will start to increase okay so what uh, so my question is 
till what voltage the current will increase so how we can see here as you know as here the man at least he cannot climb the hill because he doesn't have that much energy because we haven't supplied that much voltage and uh, the elevator is here so what happens the current will start to increase because the man prefers this path that is through the tunnel so as we increase voltage what happens in this case the elevator will move upwards so it will move upwards 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 and up to this point the current will increase why because till this point there is overlap between conduction band of n type and valence band of p type so in this case think of this tunnel as valence band of p type and a man standing on an elevator can be thought of as electrons in the conduction band of n type so this is uh, this tunnel is nothing but valence band of p type so as long as these two overlap there will be a current flow how through the tunnel so that's when the current will be the current will start to increase okay means there is a proper current flow as we apply voltage more current will flow till what time till u1 it means if at u1 is the maximum voltage external voltage at which both the i mean valence band of uh, p type and conduction band of n type will overlap this is the maximum point and uh, in this diagram this is the maximum point so for voltage is equal to u1 both these are overlapping and this is the maximum current flow to the tunnel diode okay so what happens after this if we further increase the voltage beyond u1 as i said earlier this elevator will go upwards so it will move up up, up. it will go here so now the man on the elevator is in tricky situation he cannot go through this tunnel since uh, there is no more overlap and also he cannot cross this he cannot climb the hill because he doesn't have that much energy the elevator has stopped here he cannot just jump there because he doesn't have that much energy so at this point what happens that is from this point to this point the current will start to decrease because there is simply no way for electrons to move it cannot cross the barrier that is climb the hill or it can cross through the tunnel because since at this point the both these bands do not overlap and also it cannot cross this barrier so that's when the current will start to decrease from the its peak value okay so from peak value what happens it will start to decrease and it will reach up to this point the valley current so if we apply voltage voltage it will go up to this level and this diagram we can say that the current will start to decrease 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 up to this level okay so at this level we have applied some voltage that voltage is nothing but voltage is equal to u2 so till this voltage the current will reduce any further voltage what happens the current will start to increase because the man with this luggage with greater voltage than uh, u2 has already crossed the i mean has already climbed the hill now he can easily go down to his destination with this downward slope so same case in this diagram for voltage greater than u2 c diagram d 
there is something called the current id this is the normal so normal current will be observed even in normal pn junction diode so after this point what happens this is the normal pn characteristic this is normal pn junction diode characteristics because at this point what happens we have crossed the barrier so the man has crossed this barrier and he can go here so with the we can draw the iv characteristic here okay one moment excuse me my so this is i and v so i'll explain uh, once again as long as there is overlap between the man on elevator and the tunnel the current will increase once the overlap once there is no longer the overlap between these two the current will start decreasing okay so it will decrease up to certain level so from this point to this point current decreases and from here to here current increases so that is this point so let me call this as a from 0 to a this is 0 to a and this is a to b a to b after this this is the normal characteristic okay let me call this point and this is c so from here to here b to c the current increases okay so that's how uh, the tunnel diode works so i have tried my level best uh, in explaining the tunnel diode with the help of an analogy if you have any doubts please use the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching